I'm not clear what's going to, what is the purpose of removing troops partially from Afghanistan. And because if the, the Taliban, the reconciliation with the Taliban is not going to happen unless all the troops are withdrawn. Um, I think we have to go back and, and look at why we went into Afghanistan. Um, do we have what we wanted now? Is that why we're withdrawing? Or is it we is it just because people are upset and we're having economic problems and we have to bring troops back home because the election is coming up? Is the Afghan military and police strong enough to be able to um, defend themselves, basically? I don't personally see that. I think that uh, Afghan military is very weak right now. They're not well trained. Um, they don't have the commitment because right now the American government and, and the international community basically are paying the salaries for the Afghan military. Well, Afghanistan will never be able to pay its military salaries. That has never been a system in Afghanistan. We already had a system which is no longer there. I don't think that in, in situations like this we should put a timeline. I think putting a timeline will, in fact, um, we, we are setting ourselves up for failure because then we have to comply within the timeline. And it's very difficult to put a timeline in situations that you're not 100% sure. It's not in your hand. So, um, for me, uh, another 15, 20 years. The interesting thing is that Afghans are really not the target. So it doesn't seem like the war is really an Afghan war. The Taliban, even if the Taliban come back into Afghanistan, and when they were there, they used Afghanistan to attack America. Yes, they imposed all kinds of rules and, and Islamic rules, in fact, onto Afghans, and Afghans were extremely suffering, men and women. Yet at the same time, they needed a space to use to attack America. So we, I think it's really time for us here to reflect, to see why is it that they we're attracting so much hate? What is the real problem? What is the cause of the real problem? How can we resolve it? Will removing troops from Afghanistan solve the problem in the world? I don't think so. I, I feel like America will be fighting terrorism for the next hundreds of years. I believe that if we focus in real development, nation building, like real nation building, like the way Germany was built after World War II, and focus on, on creating jobs and educating people, we don't have to worry about the Taliban. These, these extremist um, insurgencies have always historically risen, and it falls on its own. I think if you really support, the, if once the people know that there's a government, we will move forward, we have education for our children, we have health care, we have uh, jobs, we have food. The people of Afghanistan will protect Afghanistan. We will not need troops or even military in Afghanistan. We cannot fix Afghanistan. There's nothing to be fixed. It's for the Afghan people to take responsibility to build their own nation. And they're slowly doing that, in fact. But to have the support of the international community is necessary while they are doing that. So it's not something that I can say, okay, well, America will have to do this and then they can get out. I think we will need a very long-term, long relationship, a very committed relationship to rebuild Afghanistan. And it's not going to be only Afghanistan. It's going to be Somalia, Yemen, many other countries. And unfortunately, these countries where there is a weak government become the home 
for these insurgent movements that were all against America. So we haven't really so far done any nation building in Afghanistan. We have not really done any real infrastructure building. You know, yes, some roads, but you know, that those roads may have been helping insurgents more than they have been.